You may remember how some time ago there was a complaint made from the FTC towards Machinima, one of the biggest networks for gaming here on YouTube, basically saying that they did not disclose that some of their broadcasters were paid to make enthusiastic endorsements of the Xbox One during the launch back in 2013. Now, if you haven't seen my original video on this, as it was quite some time ago, let me just refresh your memory. Basically, under Machinima's program, five quote-unquote influencers were paid to produce and publish two video reviews each under explicit instructions about the content of the reviews. These reviews were then examined and approved by Microsoft and the advertising by Starcom before publication. And basically... FTC alleged that Machinima had been sorry, paid YouTubers up to $30,000 to say complimentary things about the Xbox One. These even included talking points, suggested video clips, and a warning to not say anything disparaging about the Xbox One or its launch titles. Now, anyone who signed this were contractually ob obligated to never disclose this, which of course is a huge no-no. You know, disclosure is a, a bit of an issue at the moment with many people perhaps not knowing or not caring that they have to disclose these things, but now of course it's being brought into law. But of course many of us don't need to be told, hey, you have to do this to do this because, you know, it benefits us as well as the viewer to know, hey, this is a brand deal or whatever. So, with that refreshing of memories out of the way, this complaint by the FTC has been settled. However, the settlement does not involve any monetary penalties, but rather an order to which Machinima agrees that, quote, prohibits Machinima from misrepresenting in any influencer campaign that the endorser is an independent user of the product or service being promoted. Basically, if Machinima's broadcasters are paid to say a thing, they or Machinima must declare it. However, because of the nature of the complaint, the FTC was unable to levy a fine. However, now that this order is in place, any violation is subject to a penalty of $16,000. However, Microsoft was not cited for any wrongdoing, despite the fact that Machinima obviously entered into this deal with Microsoft. And given how much Machinima actually probably made from this, I'm quite surprised that the FTC wasn't able to get any fines out of them. Given that the FTC said one YouTuber was paid 15000 for two videos and another was given 30000 and another arrangement paid other quote-unquote influencers $1 for every 1,000 views their Xbox One positive videos got with a cap of $25,000 and Machinima's YouTube has uploaded more than 300 praiseworthy videos of the Xbox One between the launch back in November 22nd, 2013 and the end of the year. And of course, despite the fact that this deal was entered into between Machinima and Microsoft, Microsoft has not had anything done to them and Machinima have now basically been said, hey, if you do this again, you will be fined. Of course, most people don't have to be told that to do it because, hey, it's beneficial, as I've already said, but still. At least we've got a resolution, even if it's a slightly unsatisfying one, at least now anyone under Machinima's umbrella will know that they cannot be made to not disclose things. While the YouTubers in question obviously could have said no to these deals, they might have said yes without actually reading fully and were unfortunately hamstrung by the contract to not disclose or feel the wrath of Machinima. But still, hopefully this teaches both gaming networks and YouTubers alike that disclosure is pretty damn important and you shouldn't have the FTC tell you to do it, IMO. So there you have it, a bit of a slap on the wrist IMO for Machinima and nothing at all for Microsoft, so not that great of a resolution, but uh, I suppose at least it's been resolved and that should be the end of that. Thank you very much for watching guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one, I'll see you next time.